It says Paul. That's right. I have some of my first grade friends up here. It's pretty exciting. All right. Who is, do you see that man sitting in that white robe over there? Who is that? Who is that? Ooh, nobody knows? I know. Brooklyn, who is that? It's Pastor Pat. And we know that because we see him every Sunday. I'm going to show you. Who is this? That's Jesus. So I'm asking you some questions because Jesus asked his disciples some questions. And so people ask us questions all the time. Moms might ask you questions. Doctors ask us questions. Teachers might ask us questions. Pastor asks us a question every Sunday. And by asking questions is one way that we can learn. And Jesus asked his disciples, he said, who do people say I am? And they said, well, some of them say that you're John the Baptist. Some of them say that you're Jeremiah or a prophet. And Jesus says, well, he asked Peter, said, who do you say that I am? And he answered him and said, you are Christ. You are the son of God. And with that, Peter had been listening. He had been listening to the teachings of Jesus. And so he knew how to answer. And so when we come to church each weekend, or even Wednesdays, or if we are from a church that has a Saturday night service or something, we learn about God. And we learn about God's love so much that he sent his son to die for us, to forgive us of our sins. And we can learn all these things by going to church, by going to Sunday school, confirmation class, Bible studies, and we can go there and we can learn and we can ask questions and learn more about Jesus. So that when someone comes to us and says, who is Jesus? What is he all about? We are prepared to answer that question because we have learned about him. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Jesus, thank you for teaching us us about you and your love love so that we are prepared prepared to tell others about you. you. Amen. Amen.